hello everyone welcome to my channel and thank you for subscribing to my channel don't forget to like comment and share my videos with your friends and if you are new here you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the red button and don't forget to click the bell icon beside it and you can visit my blog from the link above and you can follow me on twitter thank you we will start working on our expired.php in this page you can see that whenever we are giving our username and book id then the status is changed from expired to returned and after this we did not write a query for increasing our quantity as we have decreased this after approving the book request so today we will work on this now if we click on this you will see that the quantity will increase from 2 to 3 for book 1 so for that you just need to write this query here in your expired.php page after the form there you can see that if condition for um, pressing the button submit and after this query you just need to add this another query for here update book set quantity equal to quantity plus one where book id is equals to dollar underscore post bid by writing this query we will just increase the value of our quantity of the book that just and that a student has returned right now and after this let's go back to our profile page today we will make our edit profile page here in a profile page there is our button and we will just add a php code for this button here we have added the name of our button but we did not write the type let's add the type submit and the button name is submit1 so now we just need to write a php code for this and here inside the php tag we can write the code here if is set dollar underscore post and then button name submit one now inside second bracket we will write our script tag and we will redirect this to the new page window dot location let's name the page as edit dot php now if we click on this button okay nothing is happening maybe yeah it will be equal now we are directed to the page edit.php we just need to create this page now so let's create the new page and save this inside our admin site as we are working on our admin site first later we will add this inside our student site too so here first let's include include all the pages our navigation bar and our connection.php page Now you can see that whenever we are clicking the button, we are getting the edit.php page. And we will add this color in the background of that page too. So let's go back to our background color and copy the code. Use this inside the body tag of our edit.php profile. Let's just get the format, add the title, then go back to body. And inside the body tag, we will add the styling background color. Then we need to add a hash before this. Now let's refresh it again. Okay. Now we just need to write another h2 tag here. We will add styling here, text align center and the color will be white. You can write white or you can write the hash sign and the hexadecimal code. So after this we will just 
go back again and Here you can see that in profile page we have used a table here for showing the information but in edit page we will get this information but we will get this information inside a form not inside a table so that we can save that information later and we if we want to change we can change that inside that form so first we will just create a deep box and here we will write the username that just logged in here or you can just skip this part too if you don't want to show the name inside that page And if we go back to our edit page, you can see that this is how the page looks now. Now after this, we will create a form. So let's go back to the page and after adding some break, we will create a form here. Now we just need to create some input here for the form but for this form input we will need to go to the admin page and how many column that you want to add inside the edit page so if you want to add only the user uh, only the first name last name and password and other information then you can add it or you can add just all the information inside that edit page so that user can modify all their information so now we will just add the type All of them will be text. Also the password will be text here because we need to see what is our password to change it into a new password. We won't just, uh, if we add the password type as password, then we won't be able to see the current password. So we are adding text as type and then we will add all the column name that is inside our database table. You can add username or you can just skip it if you don't want to change the username okay so all this is information are for all this form input and after this we will just add one break after each of them Okay, now we just need to add the styling, the class name and other thing. Class name will be form control, our bootstrap class. So we don't need to style that if we don't want to. We just need to change the width and height after adding them in all this other input tag too. I wrote the form control in, okay, the spelling is wrong so the effect is not shown here. We can just change all of them together. Go to find and then 
replace then we just need to write the correct form and then replace all now you can see that way you can just modify them easily okay so we just need to change the width and height of our form input we can do this here inside the page or you can add this inside your style sheet too here inside the style tag we will write form control dot form control as this is a class name and then after this the width then the height okay now we just need to take this form in the middle position we can modify the padding of our form form is a tag so we don't need to add the dot here padding left will be 400 let's see if this is working yes it is and now we just need to change according to the page size of our web page okay now we can keep it like this so after this we need to create another button here for saving all this information this information will be put inside these values and after this we need to save this value so we need a save button here after all this so let's go back here and create a button you can create another input or just button tag and then add the bootstrap class button and button default type will be submit and button name you can name it anything okay now we just need to keep that button in the middle position so let's add a styling here and see if this works or not. Okay, the padding is working on the letters only. Okay, yeah, we need to add this outside that button tag. So we will create a div here before the button tag and we will add this styling in our div tag and we need to close that tag now you see the button is in the middle position so it's all right and now after this we need to add the level of our input inside the form which form is for which uh, field in our table or database whatever you say for that we need to add the label here for adding label we just need to write the label tag and inside that you can just add some heading and make it bold then add the label you can add the styling for this label or you can just keep it like that okay yeah you can add different color for this let's add this for our label tag all the color for all this label will be white so now after this we need to all add all the uh, other label before the other form input so here let's just write it and then copy this tag then we can just add the label for them now we just need to 
change the name first name last name then username then password then email and contact Okay, now you can see that all this information are here. But the form is a bit too long. Let's see if the if we delete the break, if it looks all right or not, then we will just remove the break from there. Yeah. We can remove them. The last one we will keep it because there is a button here after this so okay now all the form has been created after this uh, later i will show you how you can add the php code for this page and edit the profile and save the new information inside the database by updating them thank you